One of my mentors, his name is Moaz Al Malla. He is in um, in Saudi Arabia in, in King Abdulaziz Hospital. We uh, reviewed literature about digoxin use in atrial fibrillation in the last few years, and we found that there were very controversial results. If you look at the ACC and AHA guidelines, they recommend using digoxin as a level 1C and level 2AB recommendation, but there's no sound clinical data available about using atri digoxin in atrial fibrillation. And this has happened with much of, the much of the study drugs or the therapeutics that we are using for a very long time. And we have not really looked at their long-term outcomes in the past. So we looked up this question that is digoxin used in atrial fibrillation patients associated with increased risk of mortality. And that's how we started this research study. Now, in this research study, what we found was there was a 27% increased risk of all-cause mortality if atrial fibrillation patients were on digoxin compared to patients who were not on digoxin. There are caveats to this analysis. Um, one of the caveats was that this is a pooled analysis, and there are some studies that might be biased because the digoxin patients might be more sicker than the other, other group. So we also looked at the clinical trial data in this, this population and we found similar results, rather a stronger effect of digoxin use in those patients. Definitely we do not have a, a dedicated randomized controlled trial looking at this association and this is what our hypothetic, uh, hypothesis generating research is pointing towards, that we need a clinical trial looking at risk of mortality in atrial fibrillation patients with digoxin use. We are using this all along for the last 30 years without sound safety evaluation of the drug. And also these ACC and AHA guidelines need to be revisited in the light of what we have found. Uh, we did some subgroup analysis. Um, one of the subgroups, heart failure is, an, is particular um, of interest to most of the physicians. Um, we found a weaker evidence of mortality, but it was still significantly associated with, more, uh, uh, digoxin use was still significantly associated with mortality in heart failure patients. So um, the study is not individual based, not, does not, we do not have a patient based data uh, or patient level data, but, but still it is something uh, concrete that we think we need more data to be seen in the future. And by uh, what would we think would be the um, home taking points from this is that number one, we need a clinical trial data to look at this. Number two, we should be very judicious in instituting digoxin in these patients with heart failure. Without heart failure, I think we, we we have enough data to say that beta blockers or non-dihydropyridine calcium blocker, calcium channel blockers should be used first, and then we should think about digoxin.